the Bottom coming at you with a very special video review. Thanks to the folks at Sideshow Collectibles, today we're going to be taking a look at the new Iron Man 3 Mark 21, otherwise known as the Midas Armor. Now, the Midas Edition Iron Man figure was created as a very limited edition for a Hong Kong event. And Sideshow Collectibles was able to obtain a very small quantity for us collectors. Stay tuned for the end of this video where I'll tell you exactly how you can get your hand on one of these directly through Sideshow Collectibles. But taking a look at the packaging first, as you can see, gorgeous packaging on here. As the name implies, Midas means that everything is gold basically and that's what we have with this packaging as well. Absolutely gorgeous different tones of yellows and golds going on here. Really very cool. Come around here to the side you see uh, it just continues on saying Midas. You got the the credits and things like that which you really can't read even, <laughs> even with the naked eye. It's kind of hard to tell but come around here to the front again. This is a slip cover, so all you do, lift this up just like so. And here you have the figure beautifully displayed behind this clear plastic window case. And it just looks amazing. Now the Mark 21 is just a repaint of the Iron Man Mark 7. But this thing has collectors going crazy. With an absolutely stunning precious metals color scheme, the palette really does suit collectors of fine expensive looking things, especially robots. I mean, the Mark II is probably one of my favorite looking suits because of the very simple silver paint scheme. And that's why I absolutely love this as well. Simply gorgeous looking figure. Come around here to the side, you got the Mark 21. And then on the back, you have the cast and crew of a very talented uh, painters, designers, everything of that nature. And you can actually see it a lot more than you could on the, the outer gold packaging. But this thing is simply stunning looking. And I cannot wait to get this guy open. So without further ado, guys, let's get the Midas armor opened up and see how cool he actually is. All right, guys, so here we have the Mark 21 open up and out of its packaging. And as I said, the Mark 21 is also known as the Midas suit, which is one of the newly built suits by Tony Stark that is designed as a high altitude suit specifically being designed to withstand low pressure and cold temperatures. Now, that being said, it still really can't do in uh, like deep space kind of stuff. It's believed that the Mark 21 is a prototype to the Mark 39, which is a deep uh, space kind of suit. But that's, you know, all that crazy nonsense. <laughs> now, as I said, this figure is a repaint of the Mark 7 that we recently got. Uh, taking a look at some of his accessories first, you will notice that he comes with a very familiar looking display stand. As you can see, it is just about identical to what we got with the recent release Tony Stark figure. There is one difference though. Uh, well, number one, you can see that there are bits along the side here on the, the Tony Stark one that this one does not have uh, this isn't designed to have the the stairs attached to it like this one is so that top section is a little bit different um, but also one thing that is fairly unfortunate I, I would say is uh, removing this they removed the light up gimmick around here now I don't have batteries in this anymore because I actually have it plugged into my AC adapter but you come around here to the bottom and you can see where the battery compartment is this one does have it but it specifically says not to open that uh, and the screw has actually been replaced you can't really get in there then you come around to the actual top section and the button that was right there uh, no longer uh, can be pushed. You can see where the, the button is still kind of there, but it's now permanently stuck up. So that's kind of unfortunate. I, I do wish that the, they, they left the light up feature in this. Uh, I really don't understand why they would have taken it out. Uh, I think that that feature it was absolutely wonderful on, on here and probably would have looked really good on the, the gold armor. But you do have the, the clear clear post right here as well as the, the little claw thing right here which has the nice foam bits on the inside so you're not going to scratch up anything on your armor. Uh, he does come with a bunch of extra smaller accessories and a lot of these are again are, are reuses of what we got with the Mark 7. Uh, he's got the little shoulder bits right here zoom in so that you can see that a little bit better that has the deployable missiles you got the right side and left side. Uh, they do still have the working flaps here on the back so you, when you attach those to the figure itself uh, they still basically are functional 
functional, just like the flaps that are already on them. You just have the opening section here where the little tiny baby missiles that shoot out and destroy a whole bunch of stuff. These are really strong missiles too, but you got those shoulder bits that are still included. He does come with his forearm uh, missiles, the little tiny ones that, as you can see, has the, the section that just lifts up from his forearm, revealing the missile underneath. You do have those still. You have the two angled uh, wrist guard protectors that are used in conjunction with the, the newly molded hands, which have the, the actual connector point right, right here where it allows you to have the the repulsor in a in a blasting kind of position which is really very cool i absolutely love that this is a absolute wonderful way of doing it instead of having the the flap that would fold up and down or whatever i think that that's a wonderful way of doing it so much better than what we got before and you also do have a pair of the articulated hands that uh, you can use it and ball up into a fist if you so desired something like this it's not really much of a fist, it's more like a, a knuckle punch kind of thing, but you can get that. But as you can see, there is a difference the way the, the actual connector bit is, whereas this one is designed for the, the blasting motion. This one, you can open the hand in that gesture, but you really can't get it to uh, angle up because you have that, that whole section that is just straight, whereas this one is on an angle, so... Uh, I absolutely love the inclusion of these. All of my figures usually end up having these put on their hands as, as what I use to display my figures with, so I love these hands. Now, onto the figure himself. Again, this thing is simply gorgeous looking. He does have a, a two-tone gold going on with him, as well as a little, few couple silver bits. Like, for example, you see the silver right up on here. He's got the silver down here on the back of his knees. Um... A uh, little bit thrown in there along the side. You got a couple silver bits right up here on his shoulder section. And then obviously you got the, the grayish rubber right there. But this guy just looks absolutely stunning. Uh, now for uh, comparison, because as I said, he is just the repaint. Here you have him next to the actual March 7 himself. But as you can see, they look so incredibly different. I, I mean, obviously they're the same mold, but the paint job absolutely sets these two apart. Both of these armors really are absolutely stunning looking, but just for some reason, the gold one just, just I don't know, has this element about it that is just even more high-end feeling than the regular Iron Man figure. And this guy still features all those extra bits, like for example, the, uh, getting this out of the way, these bits right here can detach fairly easily, uh, which we did see in the, the Avengers movie. The chest piece can pop out fairly easily, revealing the inner workings. Uh, you come down here to the bottom, and these bits right here, these little flaps are still there. You got that on both sides. You got that on the inside as well. Get that in there. Pull that out just a little bit. I mean, everything on here is the exact same. These little bits still lift up absolute gorgeous detail in there nicely closed back up so you don't have to have those bits dangling out if you really don't want to here get this come on there we go uh, i did mention that he does still have the flaps here on the back they are deployable just like so get that actually lift it up a little bit higher there we go and he's got his flaps right there still very cool you do have the on and off switch for his repulsor underneath or not his uh, repulsor but his arc reactor right here in the front that is when you turn it on it gets very bright i mean i, abs I absolutely love that turn that off so I don't continue to blind you guys. Put that back down. Uh, then the face uh, light up by taking off the actual mask. And then you have the light right here. Then you replace the mask. And boom. You got his eyes. Which uh, harder to see I do know. But still <laughs> look how cool that looks guys. That's absolutely awesome. Uh, he does still have the same new neck articulation, so you can get a much better range of motion to make him actual, actually look like he's flying. I love how they removed the, the actual light-up section, like the switch, from the back of the neck and put it here. I think that really went a long way to help uh, improve that articulation here in the neck, which is still phenomenal. Uh, these bits right here, like I said, they just pop off. It's a little bit harder to get them off. Let me try this side. I don't want to pull too hard, but uh, I don't have the little tool. There is a little plastic tool that is used to take that off. And then you just take this and you 
peg that right on there just like so that is still included put this all this stuff back on here now uh, let's see these bits right here still detach so if you have any of those extra pieces from the the actual uh, mark 7 and if you want to use them with this you absolutely could uh, it, it is your personal preference I suppose so wh whatever you want to do to make the the best looking figure at least for your display you absolutely have that option uh, so the head does have that new articulation which you get a much better range of motion with it the shoulders move in and out they adjust up and down they rotate every way that you could possibly think of i love the fact that this is kind of a little looser piece which allows you to really get a much nicer range of motion rotates at the the upper section of the bicep bends here at the elbow Does, is that two joints there I, I think i thought that was two joints Maybe it's just the one joint. Um, no, yeah, it's just one joint, it seems. It does rotate left and right up here at the upper part of the torso, and then it also does lift up, so you can get a much nicer range of motion with it. So you can get some real good waist movement with that. Absolutely awesome. Moves forward and back. This is a rubber piece, so you do have to be a little bit more careful when you're moving it around. It is a little bit more limited, but not too much. You get a nice range of motion with it as well. Moves around at the upper part of the thigh. He does have two joints here at the knee, and you see a lot more of that silver bit coming out. Coming down here to the actual foot, he does have an ankle tilt. Moves forward back left right all that stuff in his toe does have a little bit of pivot in it so same amazing amount of articulation great pose ability with this figure and then he does still have the uh the hands let me pull those off put the repulsor blast on here so that you can see that bring that up just like so peg that in there ah come on there we go get that nice and pushed in turn that on and you have his blaster and again you can even do it like that and make him look like he's flying uh, which is another wonderful ability with the this this hand as well as the new wrist guard so great great options with this thing let me turn all this stuff on just so i can really blind everybody <laughs> I, I just i'm absolutely amazed by how great this looks this is easily one of my favorite iron man suits and putting it in this color just absolutely gives a whole new d dimension i guess to this this actual character i mean it like i said it is the same suit that we got previously but it's still a ridiculously good looking suit and you slap on the gold color and as i said with, with this particular color scheme really the this suit <laughs> suits any collector of really <laughs> expensive looking things this definitely has that zooming in so that you can see uh, some more of the the up close details one thing that has been kind of putting some people off and it's i don't know how well it's going to come across uh, maybe it shows up better down here yeah you can kind of see it down here throughout the figure in very minor parts uh, like right here you see a little bit of it a um, little bit over on this side a uh, few bits right down here on the bottom yeah a little bit right up here uh, you can see it really well on the actual five pieces right there um it, it, oh, and then also down here on his actual shins people have complained because there's that weathering on here uh, honestly it doesn't bug me as much i guess because uh, all the iron man suits have had that and while this does look gorgeous and i mean look at all that amazing detail and the color just looks so wonderful with it um while this is a great looking display piece you do have to understand that this is meant to be a a, a functioning suit for the most part i mean tony uses this so through the course of his uses i i, I guess that explains why some of these scuff marks would happen um now i do understand and appreciate why people would want it to be pristine and and not have those scuff marks but for me I like it. It adds to the realism of the, the actual figure, and it comes across more like it, it's actually been used as opposed to just created and just standing there. 
Now the fun part is how do you get this thing? As I mentioned, this is a very exclusive and limited edition being brought to us by Sideshow Collectibles. Pre-orders for this will go up December 2nd of 2013, otherwise known as Cyber Monday. But here's something that's absolutely awesome. If you click on the link down in the video description, you'll go to Sideshow Collectibles and you'll have a chance to win your own Iron Man Mark 21 before the order even goes up. So you have a very small amount of time, if you want to win one that is. But regardless, as I said, the order will go up December 2nd, 2013, and then we'll ship like two days later. So hopefully you guys do not waste any time getting this. If you're a collector of Iron Man figures and Hot Toy figures, this is one that you absolutely need to have in your collection. As I said, this thing is ridiculously limited. Do not waste time. That's exactly why we're getting this review out as quickly as possible so that you guys are made aware of this and don't miss out on getting this. Because as limited as this is, this is going to sell out very quick. So as I said, Click on that link down in the video description. You can enter to win your own, and signing up for the mailing list will allow you to get all the information that you need when this thing is ready to go. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optobotomous. Keep in touch with me. Find our recent purchases as well as all upcoming video reviews all at Facebook.com slash TeamBotomous. And follow me over on Twitter at Twitter.com slash And until next time, I'll talk to you later.